Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make the dress that you've seen um, my daughter wearing in the picture. Now this dress is sized to fit 6, 6X. That's US terms. Now my daughter is only 4 years old, <clears throat> but she is big for her age. So she wears a size 6, 6X. Um, if you're not from the US and you're not familiar with those terms, that means that it will fit an average size six-year-old. But like I said, my daughter is four, but she is um, big for her age. Um, she's always top the percentage chart at her doctor's appointment. So um, that's what size I'm making. I can give you some measurements here um, from the neck here down to the point up here for from the neckline I just showed you down to the to the final point of the final shell is about 20 inches the skirt part just from the bottom of the yoke down to the final point of the final shell is about 16 inches yoke is about four inches okay so that's the size now you can make it for a size 4T, 5T, which again, that is US terms. And if you do not know what that means, it means it will fit an average size, average size four to five year old. It doesn't mean it'll fit every four to five year old. It just means the average size one. So if you have a four or five year old that's a bit larger, you probably need to make a bigger one. Or if you have one that's a little smaller, um, I don't have any other sizes than that. Um, available now the only way uh you could do the four to five would be to drop down a hook size that's what i always do and that will make it a size smaller okay so this is it's relatively easy pattern to do it does have a single crochet double crochet some shells some v stitches um the hardest stitch on it is probably the pico and it's not even hard at all i will show you how to do it here's the back not much of a seam that's visible i like it and it is see-through. That's what it looks like. It just starts out um, here and gradually gets wider as I go down. Okay, so I'll move that out of the way here. Now, I know um, you're going to ask what she wears underneath that. Uh, any slip would work. Um, but this is what my daughter always usually wears under the dresses that I make her. It's just, it's, a, it's, it's thicker than a slip. It's kind of like a really thin... Uh, see-through cotton dress now I purchased this at, on Amazon so I will put a link to that below in the description box it's not an affiliated link I purchased for the her this uh for her um I, every you know a lot of times she's went up in sizes but this is always the one that I always she's always wearing under her dresses um okay enough about that let's talk about the yarn I use the yarn that I use is called a lion brand Pima cotton. It is a very nice drapey soft cotton yarn. It, it's it's a very nice yarn. Um, it's a medium weight number four. Now you do not have to use this yarn. Absolutely do not have to use it. Um, but you do need to use a medium weight number four. Um, so, but this being cotton makes it uh, it's very soft. Pima cotton soft, and um, it being cotton though makes it a little bit. Uh, oh not so heavy for summer but anyways there are 186 yards um per ball um i went through two and a uh, two and three quarters you're gonna need about 500 yards to make the dress of four weight remember you don't have to use this you don't even have to use cotton you, you can use acrylic i've used acrylic many times for a lot of my baby dresses so that's fine but there's a collar in case you're interested and then now for the six 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 size that I am making, you're gonna need to use a J, which is a six millimeter crochet hook. Now, if you want to make it to fit four T five T size, remember those are U.S. sizes. Um, I would use a size uh, I, which is a five and a half millimeter. Now I don't. I'm not going to tell you that you can go down more and make it smaller because I'm not 100% certain. Now, that's something you can definitely try. I honestly don't see why it wouldn't work, but don't hold me to that because I don't know. 
but if you do drop down a size or go up a size or whatever you do and it works out let everybody know in the comments what you did to make it bigger or smaller that way they can do the same so what we're going to do is we're going to start out with a slip knot on our hook on our hook now remember if you're making it for the six size or the four or five regardless it is the same pattern the only difference is the hook size so you still follow me the same now we're going to start out with a chain of 64 chains now we're going to be making a long chain and slip stitching it to form one large ring so 64 All right, once you get your chain of 64 made, we're gonna follow it down without twisting our chain. And we're gonna slip stitch into the first stitch to form one large ring. So it's just a pull over the headdress. So slip stitch right through there. Now we're gonna start by chaining one. We're gonna go right back into that same spot that we slip stitched in into and single crochet. And now we're going to work one single crochet in every stitch all the way around. Just like this. So we're just going to continue working one single crochet in every stitch until we get back to our starting point. All right, so I've made it around and I'm coming to the end of round one. And you should have a total of 64 stitches and we're going to go in and end by slip stitching into our first single crochet. Not the chain one that we made, but the first single crochet. And that'll end round one. Now, if that seems big to you, don't worry about it because at the end we go around the neck a couple times. So we'll take care of that. Okay, so now we're gonna start round two. We're gonna chain one. And what we wanna do is put three double crochets in a row. And then the next stitch will put two double crochets into the same stitch. So remember the chain one don't count as a stitch. So we're gonna go right back there into that same stitch that we just slip stitched into and that'll be our first double crochet. And we want three of them in a row. So there's one, go to the next one, two, and the next one, three. Now the next one will get two double crochets into the same stitch. Just like that and that's what we're going to repeat the whole way around one double crochet into the next three stitches so one two three and then two doubles into the next one double into the next three stitches there's one two and three and two into the next so i'm going to go ahead and repeat this process of three double crochets in a row and then two doubles into the next all the way around until i get back to my starting point all right i've made it to the end of round two now your last stitch should have had two double crochets in it and you should have a total of 80 stitches now so we're going to end round two by slip stitching into our first double crochet and then we'll start round three round three is a repeat of round two so we're going to chain one and we're going to do the exact same thing that we just did on round two for round three so we're going to put three double crochets in a row your first one always goes right there where you just slip stitch so there's one two 
and three. And then we're going to put two double crochets into the next. So this is easy round. One double crochet into the next three. And two doubles in the next. So for round three, I'm just repeating what I just did on round two. And I'm going to go ahead and repeat that all the way around until I get back to my starting point. All right, I've come to the end of round three. Again, you should have ended with two double crochets into your last stitch. And now you should have a hundred stitches total. Let's go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first double crochet. And we're going to start round four. Round four is the armhole row or the armhole round. So we will chain one does not count as a stitch. We want to put a double crochet into the first 15 stitches. So always the first one goes right here where we just slip stitch. So we need 15 double crochets in a row. So there's one, two, three, four, five okay so i got my 15 doubles in a row now we're going to work a chain of nine now don't work it like extremely tight because we will have to go back into these chain spaces and work later so chain nine there's one so i got my chain of nine now i'm going to skip 20 stitches So there's 20 and the next one after the 20th stitch there with this chain nine still on our hook we're going to go ahead and double crochet into that stitch that is one armhole made so there's 20 stitches skipped in between now we want to work across working across the front of the dress now and we want to do a double crochet and the next 30 stitches so this double crochet that we just made counts as number one so one two three four five and we want to do a 30 across the front Okay, so I've got my 30 stitches across the front. Now I'm going to make my other armhole. So I'm going to do a chain of nine again. And I'm going to skip 20, just like we did on the other side. So there's 20 and then the next one with this chain nine still on my on my hook I'm going to double crochet there into that next one there's your second armhole now we want to go ahead and finish out by putting a double crochet in the remaining stitches counting this one here you should have a total of 15 so that was number one this would be number two three four five okay I went ahead and end it and I did have 15 stitches there to end and I'm going to go ahead and end around four by slip stitching into my first double crochet and you will have now a total of 60 stitches now we did the 15 on this side and the 15 on this side and then we had the 30 in front we do not we're not counting the 20 that we skipped and we're not counting the the nine chain nine spaces right now so 60 all together 30 in back 30 in front now let's go ahead and start round five which will be the last round of the yoke so we are going to chain one and we're going to go right back into that same stitch and double crochet that very first one 
And now I'm going to put one double crochet in every stitch until I make it to my first chain space, that chain nine of the armhole. All right, I've made it to my chain space. Now we need to work one double crochet in each of those nine chain spaces. Make sure you count and get each one of them because if you miss one, sometimes that last one over here is hard to get. If you miss one, your count will be off. So make sure you get all nine. So just go right into the chain. There's one, two, three, four, seven, eight, and there is nine. And now I'm going to continue across. Also, again, you want to watch and make sure you get this first stitch. Sometimes it gets really stretched out and it's hard to tell it's a stitch. But what you want to go ahead and put one double crochet in every stitch now across the front until you get to your next chain space. So I'm working across the front of my dress now, putting one double in every stitch until I get to my next chain nine space. All right, I'm coming to my next chain nine space and I'm just going to do the same thing that I did on the other side. I'm going to work one double crochet in each of the nine chain spaces. You just have to make sure you get nine of them there. And then I will go ahead and put one double crochet in each of the remaining stitches until I make it to the end of the round. All right, I'm coming to the end of round five. I'm gonna go ahead and end by slip stitching into my first double crochet. And now you should have a total of 78 stitches and that will finish the yoke portion. So the 78 comes from the 30 we had in front, the 30 we had in back, and then the nine of each of the armhole for a total of 78. Okay, so now we're gonna start the skirt. And it's not hard. So round six is the start of the skirt. So we are going to chain one. Now we are going to work a V stitch in the very first stitch here that we just slip stitch in, into. So we're gonna go into that spot and we're gonna work a double crochet, a chain one and another double crochet. So there's our V stitch. And now we are going to skip two stitches, skip, skip, and we're gonna work a shell into the next. The shell consists of five double crochets into the same stitch. So skip two, skip, skip, next one, five double crochets into the same stitch. Again, we are going to skip two stitches. So skip, skip, next one, we're gonna put a V-stitch. So I skip two, and then in the next one, I'm gonna V-stitch. So I'm gonna put a double crochet, a chain of one, 
and then another double crochet all into that same stitch and that'll form the V stitch. So that's what we're going to kind of repeat. Again, I'm going to skip two stitches, skip, skip, and shell into the next. So five double crochets is in the next one. There's four and there's five. Skip two again, skip, skip, and V stitch into the next. So double, chain one, and double. I'm gonna repeat this pattern all the way around, even here at the armholes. We don't even, we don't, we're not working up here right now. Do that later. We're just working right here and we're just repeating the same pattern all the way around. So skip two, shell into the next, which is five double crochets. skip two and V stitch into the next which is one double chain one one double so I'm going to repeat the pattern V stitch skip two shell skip two V stitch all the way around until I make it back to my starting point okay I've come to the end of round six now your last I just did a shell and I have two stitches left, so I'm going to go ahead and skip those two stitches. And I'm going to end with a slip stitch into my first double crochet of my first V stitch. Like that. And you will have 13 shells and 13 V stitches. <clears throat> so now we will start round seven. Now round seven is going to be the repeat round for a few for a few rounds until we start increasing the dress so what we're going to do is slip stitch one time until we get to the middle here when we slip, slip stitch one time we'll be in the middle of that first V stitch and that's where we want to start out we're going to chain one and we're going to do a V stitch right there in that chain one space of this V stitch so I'm going to double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. Now I'm going to come over here to the shell and I'm going to work a shell in the middle stitch. So there's five stitches here so I'll need to work it in the third one. So I'll skip two stitches of the shell, one, two, and in the middle one I'm going to go into it and I'm going to work a shell which is five double crochets. Now I'm going to jump over here to the next V stitch and in that chain one space of that V stitch I'm going to work a V stitch. So I'm going to go right in there and I'm going to work a double crochet, a chain one, and a double crochet. And that's what I'm going to repeat all the way around now for round seven. So all we're really doing is keeping the shells lined up and the V stitches lined up. That's pretty much what we're going to do for the whole dress although we will increase the dress as we go down but it, we will always still be keeping the shells and the V stitches lined up so again I want to go to the shell here and in the middle stitch of it which is the third one so we'll need to skip two I'm going to work a shell And then in the next V stitch, in the chain one space of it, I'm going to work another V stitch. So double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. And I'm going to work this same pattern all the way around until I get back to my starting point. I will still have the uh, 13 shells and the 13 V stitches, and I'll still want to end it by slip stitching into my first double crochet. And I'll start again by slip stitching one more time to the middle of my V and then I'll start my next round. So we're going to work a few rounds like this and then we'll start increasing. So go ahead and repeat round seven until you have reached a total of 11 rounds. 
So we're on round seven now. You wanna do it, repeat round seven until you reach a total of 11. All right, I have done six rows of the shells. So one, two, three, four, five, six, or a total of 11 rounds already, okay? So on the 12th round, or the seventh row of shells, whichever way you wanna put it, I'm gonna increase my uh, V stitch and I'm gonna turn it into a double V stitch. That way the dress will flare out a little bit more at the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is slip stitch over like we normally do to the uh, chain one space of our V stitch. I'm gonna chain one to start. Now for the double V, what I'm going to do is put two double crochets in a row like that inside there. And then I'm gonna chain two. And then I'm gonna put two more double crochets. So this, that's what um, a double V stitch is in this pattern. Two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. So now everything else is going to be the same other than that we are changing up the V stitch. So again, in the middle stitch of my shell, I'm gonna go ahead and work my shell, which is my five doubles. And then my next V stitch from the previous row, I'm gonna work a double V stitch into it. So I'm gonna work two doubles, a chain of two, and two more doubles. So everything else is still the same. You know, you're still gonna have the same number count, um, or same stitch count at the end of every row. Shells are all the same. But we just switched up the single, the v, regular V stitch and moved it up to a double, which will allow the dress to flare out a bit more at the bottom. So I'm going to continue doing this the, uh, the same way you've been doing it, with the exception of the double V now instead of the single V. And I'm going to do it now for six more rounds of shells. And then we'll change it up again. Just like that so you would just do that all the way around and you know slip stitch and start again with your uh, double V stitches and shells so I'm gonna do the double V stitches for six rounds the same as I did the single V stitches for six rounds so one two three four five six and now I'm starting on my doubles and I'm gonna do six rounds of those so I'll meet you back up whenever I finish those six out now, when you make it to the, the end of this round that, uh, where we're working the double V stitches, you want to slip stitch in the first double crochet of that first double V. And then when you start again, you'll slip stitch two times now instead of one. So slip stitch into the double crochet and then you'll slip stitch into the chain space. And then that's where you'll start again, working your double V and then your shells and your double V's and your shells. And like I said, you want to do that for six more or six total rows of the double V. So we already finished one. So I'm going to go ahead and finish my, my other five and then I'll meet back up with you. Okay, I have finished my six rounds using the double crochet V stitch. You can see here, there was my last single. So I did one, two, three, four, five, six which brings my total count starting from round one, round 17. So we will start round 18 now. Now we are gonna slip stitch two times to the middle of our first double crochet V stitch. Now you probably know what I'm gonna do next. I bet you can guess. We're gonna do triple crochet V stitches and this is gonna make the bottom of the skirt flare out just even a little bit more. So I'm gonna chain one. And now this time I'm going to do three double crochets, a chain of two and three double crochets into this chain two space. So let's work here. One, two, three. Chain two though, just a chain two. And then three more doubles. 
Now, that's what we're going to call a triple crochet V-stitch here for my pattern. Now we're going to do the same thing that we've been doing the rest of the way. It only difference is these double crochet V-stitches are now becoming triple crochet V-stitches. So we're going to do our shell into the middle of our next shell, still five double crochets. And then my next V-stitch will be a triple crochet V-stitch instead of a double. So, three doubles. Yeah, each row just gets longer now. <laughs> I, I add more stitches. But I hope it turns out nice. You never know till the end. So, three doubles, chain two, and three more doubles. Again, shell into the middle stitch of your next shell. So it'll be five doubles into that middle stitch. And triple crochet V stitch into the next V stitch. And this is what I'm going to repeat all the way around. Now this is the row I'm going to repeat until I get the length that I want it to be. Minus one row, I'll put an edge on it. But I won't be doing any more increases after this. So, um, once you make it back to the beginning, the only difference is when you start your next round, you'll be slip stitching one, two, you'll slip stitch into the first one to end your round. And this time you'll slip stitch three more times after that to get to the middle. That's the only difference now uh, when you start a row. So I'm going to continue rounds now with doing triple crochet V stitches. And remember, this is going to be for as long as I want my dress. So um, I'll keep going and I'll let you go in here in just a second. How many total rows now of the triple? V stitches that I do. All right, so what I have done is six more rounds of triple crochet V stitches. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we got the six rounds of a double crochet V stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. The six rounds of single or the just regular V stitches, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we have our top rounds. So all together we have a total starting way up here with 23 rounds. So I am going to, before I put the edge, I'm gonna do one more row and it's gonna be the uh, finishing edge. But before I do that, I'm gonna give you a quick measure so you can see if it's the size that you want. I do wanna remind you that when you put it on the ch your child or who's ever wearing it, it probably will stretch down a bit. But I'm going to measure from the neckline down, okay? Not the shoulders, just from the neckline down. Right now, it's measuring about 18 inches at the Vs. 17 and a half, 18 inches. We'll just say 18 inches at the V. Now, if I was to measure from the top of the shoulder down, we're at 20 inches, okay? So there's your quick measurement. You can decide if you want to make it longer or not. Well, actually, let me, sorry, let me give you a measurement of just the skirt also. So starting at the skirt, 14 inches, okay? So there's all your measurements in case you want to adjust. Now, I'm gonna start round 24, and like I said, it's going to be my finishing round. All right. So, we are going to slip stitch three times. I already ended my last round by slip stitching into my first double crochet and my uh, triple V-stitch. And we're going to slip stitch three times until we get to the middle of it. So, one, two, 
three. Now I'm going to do a shell with a pico. Okay, so this is how we're going to do the shell pico. It's going to be a big shell. We're gonna chain one right here at the start. Remember, that does not count as a stitch. So we are going to work six double crochets into the chain space of our first triple V stitch. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So there's six doubles. Now I'm going to put a pico on this sixth double crochet, and I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. It's really easy. We're going to do a chain of three. So there's one, two, and three. Now some people like to slip stitch into the first chain to make their pico, and you can do that. I prefer to go down to the top of the double and go into the side of it like that. I think it holds the pico in place better and forms a more natural round looking one. And there's your pico. Puts a little ball on top of that stitch. Now I'm gonna continue, slide them stitches over. I'm gonna continue in the same spot and I'm gonna finish by putting five double crochets all into that same stitch. It's two, three, four and five so that is our shell with a pico so all it is actually is 11 double crochets but the middle one which is the sixth one has a pico on it and that's what we're going to do in each one of these triple v stitches but first we need to come over here to the shell that's next we're going to go into the middle of the shell so the third stitch of the shell, and we're gonna single crochet. And now I'm gonna put a pico on this single crochet. So I'm gonna chain three, and then I'm going to go back down to the single crochet, kind of these two stitches here on the side. I like to go through those and slip stitch. There you go, now you have a pico on top of that shell. Now I'm going to jump over here to my next triple crochet V stitch and in here we're going to work our big shell with a pico. So we'll start by working our six double crochets. There's one, two, three, four, five and six now let's put a pico on this sixth one so we're going to do a chain three come back down to the top of the double and go through these two side stitches just like that and slip stitch there's your pico now we're going to finish finish off by putting five doubles back into that same spot One, two, three, there's four, and five. There's your big shell pico. Looks pretty cool. So now we're going to jump over here to our shell, and in the middle, we're going to single crochet, and then we will pico on the single crochet so chain three come back down through the side slip stitch and that will make a pico and this is what I'm going to repeat all the way around it might take a little time a lot of stitches there in that in that uh big shell pico but you jump here to the next triple v and we work again our six doubles And then on the sixth one, we pico, so we chain three, 
come back down to this double crochet and right there on the side put your hook through those two little loops and slip stitch that'll be your pico and then we finish off I always got to slide my stitches over with five more double crochets into the same spot Like that there you go and then we have to jump over to our next shell right here single crochet into the middle chain three to do our pico go down right into that single crochet this two little stitches there on the side and a slip stitch so this is it this is what I'm going to repeat all the way around I think that's pretty cool nice and fancy edge I'm sure my daughter will like it so I'm gonna continue doing this repeating this until I get back around to the beginning all right I've come to the end of my edging row and I did a pico there in my last shell so I'm gonna go ahead and slip stitch and I'm gonna end the round by slip stitching to my first double crochet of my first shell with a pico and then I'm gonna tie off because I'm not gonna add any more length to mine there we go now you should have 13 of these shells with picots on it so that's what we got so far hey the hard parts over well the long parts over I'll say Let's move on and clean up some edges around the uh, neck and, and sleeves and do some more picos. Sorry about that. My camera moved. And then we'll be finished. Okay, so we're going to start on the neck. I have the back side of my work facing me. And I'm going to start my yarn just somewhere around where we started our first row. This somewhere around here is fine. So just go into a stitch, any stitch somewhere near the back of the seam, draw up a loop. I'm going to try to hide these tails as I go also, and chain one. Now we're going to go back into that same spot and single crochet. So we're going to clean up this neck edge and we're going to single crochet in every stitch all the way around. The, the neck, the collar area. So that's going to give it a clean edge. And then once we're done with that, we're going to add some picots to it. Gotta love the picots. So I'm going to continue around the whole neckline here in the front all the way back to my starting point putting one single crochet in every stitch around. Just like that. Alright I've made it all the way around to my starting point. Now you should have 64 stitches because that's what we started with. That's the number that you need to have. So you need to have 64 stitches here and I'm gonna go ahead and end this edging here by slip stitching into my first single crochet. Like that. Now I'm gonna go around one more time but this time I'm gonna add some picots to it. So I am going to chain one. I'm going to go back into that same stitch there that I just slip stitched into and single crochet. Now I'm going to single crochet into the next stitch and I'm going to add a pico to this stitch. So I'm going to chain three and then I'm going to go back down and go through the side of the single crochet like we did before and slip stitch just like that. So there's our pico. So now I'm just going to do a regular single crochet into the next stitch. 
and the next stitch is going to be a single crochet with a pico. So I'm going to go into it, the next stitch, single crochet, and then I'm going to chain three, and go back down, slip stitch to make our pico. Just like that. That's what I'm going to do all the way around. So the next stitch will be just a regular single crochet. And then the next stitch will be a single crochet with a pico. Chain three. Go back down. Slip stitch there through the side of that single to form your pico. Single crochet into the next and single crochet pico into the next. So there's my single crochet, chain three, and there's my pico. So this is what I'm gonna repeat all the way around, and it's gonna give me these picos on the collar. If you want to omit these, that's fine. So I'm gonna do, again, a regular, just one single crochet into the next, and then the next will be a single crochet with a pico. Just like that. So I'm going to continue this all the way around the collar until I get right back here to my starting point. All right, I'm coming to the end. Now my last stitch was a pico and I did that. Now I'm going to go ahead and end by slip stitching into my first single crochet and tying this off. You still should have 64 stitches. Half picots, half single crochets. So I'll need to hide that tail. So that will be the neck is done. Now um, for the sleeves, I believe I'm just going to clean them up with a round of single crochet. So I'm just going to kind of, well, let me look here. Let me think for a second. Okay, so I'm going to put some shells here, actually. So, I'm on this <laughs> I just wing it as I go. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start. I have the front of my dress facing me now. Okay, do you remember we, we're just going to be working around these stitches here that we skipped. We're not going to do anything with this down here. That's fine. It's going to be under the arm anyways. Let's start right here in this stitch that this double crochet is hooked onto, okay? That one right there. So let's go ahead and start our yarn there. And we will chain one, like that. And let's go back into that stitch and single crochet. Now let's skip one stitch and in the next stitch we're going to work a shell. But let's just do a shell of four double crochets. We'll call this a small shell. So four double crochets into that same stitch. So there's four doubles. Now we're going to skip one stitch again and then we'll single crochet into the next and we'll skip one stitch again and then we'll work that small shell into the next so four double crochets skip one stitch single into the next Skip one stitch and do that shell again into the next. So four, a small shell, four double crochets. Skip one, single on the next. Skip one, small shell into the next, four doubles.
skip one, single, skip one, shell, skip one, single, and now we are going to end by slip stitching into this last stitch here that has the double crochet attached to it. So we'll slip stitch into that stitch. And then we will tie that off. And we'll do the same on the other sleeve. Okay, so yeah, that looks better. You're gonna have a total of one, two, three, four, five shells there on your sleeve. Now, since we, let's see, we started this sleeve with the front of our work facing us. Let's start the next one with the back of our work facing us. So now I have the back of my work facing me. And I'm going to start in the same spot as we did the other one. The stitch that holds, that the double crochet is in. We'll start into that one. And we will do, pull up our yarn and chain one and go back into that same spot and we're going to single crochet and we're going to do the same thing that we did on the other side we're going to skip one and then we're going to put the shell into the next which is the small shell four doubles into the same stitch and then we'll skip one single into the next skip one shell into the next skip one single into the next so we're going to do that until we get around to the other side okay i'm coming to the end here of my other sleeve i'm just going to end it the same way i did my last shell i'm going to skip one single crochet into the next spot and then i'm going to end by slip stitching into this stitch here that has that double crochet this double crochet on top of it slip stitch and then I'll clip that off in five shells, five shells on both sleeves. And then I'll need to hide all those tails. And after that, I think we can call it quits, actually. I'm going to go ahead and hide all my tails and take a look at it. Okay, so once you get all your tails hidden, that's it. It's finished. I think it turned out really, really cute. My daughter likes it. The picos look nice. The shells look nice around the sleeves. And it's super cute. I think any little girl is going to look adorable in this. So I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. And I always hope that you were able to follow along. Even if you're a beginner. I still hope that you were able to make this. And if you did make this. You know I really. Or any of my uh, crochet tutorials. I really like to see pictures of the things that people make from my videos. You can always show me um, te uh, on Instagram or Facebook. I'll put links to both of those in the description box. Um, so you can, you know, follow me on uh, Instagram, like me on Facebook, show me what you make from my videos. Now, uh, don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this. Um, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell. I have hundreds of crochet tutorials. I also do a lot of yarn, um, reviews and yarn talk and yarn unboxings, um, I like to talk about the new yarns and stuff like that. But I'm going to put over there on the right hand side right now a list of all my crochet tutorials that I have listed for free on YouTube. Um, there are hundreds of them. Pretty much anything that you could want to make. I have it. Probably multiples of it. So check out that playlist if you, if you get a chance. Maybe you'll find something else there that you want to make. I got a lot of little girl dresses. All different sizes. So... Um, Thanks everybody for watching and have a good day.